Alright guys. Good lord, what a difference an hour makes. I am absolutely loving it. Here at uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm here on this gorgeous Monday evening, June 17th. It is not even seven o'clock yet. It is still uh, it is still two hours from dark. This is just uh, what happened to the sky in the in the past thirty minutes out of the middle of nowhere after this steamy, hot, miserable day. So I was out installing my drip irrigation system. Uh, because I was going to start uh, having to run the drip irrigation tomorrow to save my tomatoes and blackberries. <coughs> and then we were saved out of... Damn it! Man, my pelican is already going down, spilling my damn drink. Now that is a talk about alcohol abuse. Good Lord, sitting here sweating like a pig, putting in my drip irrigation system. Next thing I know, my damn pelican is flying across the damn room. Oh. Uh, so I just got an email from Sandy, I'm sure you will hear, I guess she got her ass kicked a couple of hours ago by this storm. She's got damn trees down in her yard and shit. I still have people coming in today to check into Seahorse, which of course is in the middle of those pine trees, so I'm sitting around waiting to get people checked in to Seahorse Tiny House on this beautiful night. They were looking forward to having a uh, a nice campfire under the moonlight. That was their uh, that was their plans tonight. A beautiful campfire under the moonlight. Oh boy. But uh See, I think this I, I think this is absolutely glorious. I'm watching my pond get rained on, listening to the rain on the tin roof. So what I think a lot of people either don't get or never got unless you were a southerner. So this is how I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, and the uh at least in the 1960s and 1970s, pretty much every single day from Memorial Day to Labor Day, what would happen is it would be hot as hell, just miserable, uh, you know, where you were just about to pass out from the wet bulb, and then every day, uh, these these gorgeous thunderstorms would roll in in the late afternoon, early evening, and uh, this you know they were one of the great parts of my childhood. Are were these uh, ferocious storms uh, rolling in every single day, and. Uh, cooling off the, the planet by about 20 degrees in, a, you know, in less than an hour. This is just, that was the normal summertime pattern, at least in Atlanta, Georgia, for the 23 years I lived there. I absolutely loved it. Uh, that is the normal pattern, at least as I remember it from Atlanta, Georgia is uh, highs every day from Memorial Day hell to uh, the you know the first day of fall pretty much it would be every single day the high would be somewhere between 90 and 95 degrees and uh, then as soon as you couldn't stand it anymore 
one of these storms would roll in. And uh, maybe that is not the pattern of Ithaca, New York. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, but I am absolutely celebrating this, uh, manifesting uh, this rain. Uh, so much for having to run the drip irrigation tomorrow. Hallelujah. I won't even have to turn the faucet on. The, the little impatience out here. Absolutely uh, loving this. The impatience and the tuberous begonia. Oh man, and the hostas. Absolutely loving this. Uh, so Sandy, I'm sorry about those trees in your yard. Uh, hope I don't have any of those. So, you know, I don't know if you heard my rant from uh, over there at Collapse Chronicles this morning. An excellent essay off of Medium.com. I, I got a real laugh because the guy writing it just calls himself Matthew. Uh, was laughing about the concept of manifestation of manifestation uh, you know asking for the asking the universe or working in partnership with the universe to uh, bring something into your life that you want and uh, I used to be a pretty good manifester and I was reading that right here in this very chair uh, 10 hours ago reading that uh, that essay with that dude laughing about the concept of manifesting and uh, I, 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 and I was looking down at the pond I'm looking at now and I said man I want to manifest some damn rain. There was virtually no chance of rain. No chance. Ten hours ago, they were claiming no mention of rain anywhere in the forecast over the next five days. Zero chance. So, my, uh, I manifested my drip irrigation system while, and I, I was literally, literally on the last five minutes, the last five minutes of putting in this major drip irrigation system, I'll do a video on it, and the uh, clouds rolled in, the thunder started rumbling, hell yeah. Uh. So anyway, since I know all you guys are wondering so much, so I go back to the fucking doctor today at the Ithaca Free Clinic and I uh, told him, uh, you, you know, so much for your antibiotics and your steroids and all of this shit with this pneumonia and he, and he kind of looks at me and he and he's, he's like but dude there's not much else i can do for you uh until i can see inside so he he wanted me to get a fucking cat scan and i said i'm not a cat i'm a i'm a human and uh i'm gonna pass on that and uh so anyway, uh, I am eligible for Medicare in five days. In five days, I need to decide whether to uh, start getting Medicare. You know, I, I get $900 a month, Social Security, $900 fucking dollars a month. And uh, they want $175 a month for Medicare, and I think that Medicare only covers 80% of uh, the, the doctor bill, so 
that's what seven hundred and twenty five dollars a month is what I will be manifesting from Social Security if I take this goddamn Medicare oh, Jesus you know this all being sick shit I uh, I'm just, I'm just not used to it. I don't have room in my life to be sick. Uh, it gives me a new appreciation for... I mean, it, it must it must suck to be physically... Uh, whether, it, it, you know, whether you can't breathe, you can't walk, whatever. It, it's got to fucking suck. Giving me a small taste of it. Uh, but anyway, growing old is not for pussies. It is not for pussies, not for pneumonia pussies. So I'm not a corona pussy, so I, I can't be a pneumonia pussy either, I guess. Uh, one month I've been dealing with this goddamn shit. But, uh... So what did I do? Did I cough in the first minute of this rant? Oh yeah, so I, I just want to, as long as I'm sitting here stuck uh, in the rain, I already had this discussion with a buddy once today, and I've noticed a couple of comments that people who don't know me personally uh, making this comment about how I have had this chronic persistent cough for as long as they've been listening to me on YouTube and uh, so as I say for, for the people who only know me from YouTube I can understand why they think this but as I was reminding my buddy uh, and then he goes yeah I, I guess you're right about this I have what is called Hillary Clinton syndrome. Okay, I as much as I don't care for Hillary Clinton, I, I really do feel sorry for this woman. Uh, you know, every time she gets behind a microphone, uh, you know, she starts uh, hacking like she belongs in a fucking TB ward, and uh, it, it, it is. Again, as, as, as Sandy or a lot of other people can tell you, so you could come here to Bugs in a Jar Farm. Anyone that is invited to come here to Bugs in a Jar Farm, we could sit right here on this porch, the two of us. We could sit right here on this porch and we could yak, you know, just in conversation for four hours for four hours uh we could be blabbing back and forth back and forth uh i, I could be pontificating telling my my long uh in the tooth ham bone misadventure stories whatever uh for hours on end i would never cough one time. Well, I, I mean, once I get over this pneumonia, I would never cough. You'd never hear me cough. I, I never cough. I never fucking cough. And then I would turn on this goddamn camera, point this camera to me, towards me, and within four minutes I would be coughing. It, 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 it's absolutely bizarre, uh, this effect. Uh, and, and, and I've had it all my life. I, I, I remember having this shit back in college. It's one of the reasons I did not go into broadcast journalism. Because if you put a fucking camera on me, I cannot last five minutes uh, without coughing. It, it's some sort of weird, I don't know what it is, stage fright or performance anxiety or whatever. Uh, people do not realize I am very shy. Uh, people always laugh when I tell them how shy I am. I, I am a very socially awkward, shy person. Uh, 
as they say that always gets a laugh from people uh, but I actually honestly consider myself to be a, a, a very shy and socially awkward uh, person and uh, I anyway it's, it's just fucking weird but I do not have a chronic persistent cough the only time I cough is when I'm doing fucking videos. So you guys get to hear virtually 100% of the time I cough up until I got this fucking pneumonia. You've heard pretty much every cough I have coughed uh, in the last 16 fucking years because it's been on YouTube. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up and... Uh, Kick back and enjoy this delicious margarita and listen to the sound of the blessed rain that I manifested tapping on the tin roof. Get out there and enjoy manifesting some rain in your own life. Bye guys.